as the world population continues to rise, so do food prices because of dwindling supplies amid this increasing demand. Coupled with the effects of climate change, it's clear that conventional crop improvement alone will not work to supply the global food needs. That's why the growing of biotech or genetically modified crops is seen as an alternative. They will use less water, they will use less nutrients, but still produce the, 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 the yield that we want. So in that way, you will sort of uh, be aligning yourself to responding to the challenge of climate change. Genetically modified crops are also said to use less land, alleviate poverty and ensure food security. Besides, these crops are sometimes developed to include micronutrients that would have otherwise been lacking in some crops. Working on banana, but banana is being uh, modified for, for those uh, micronutrients, like iron. Uganda has been growing bananas, cassava, maize and cotton on an experimental basis. But these crops cannot be put on the market until appropriate laws are passed due to ethical concerns. There are still many legislators who, who are, are not familiar with the science and therefore they present uh, doubts, they present questions, they, they want to be sure that they are going to make a law that is going to be uh, progressive. Scientists hope Uganda will be able to grow these crops by 2015. Currently, only three countries in Africa grow biotech crops and they are South Africa, Egypt and Burkina Faso. Anna Tkunda, NTV, tonight.